there we go i have a big old lump of cherry it is end grain because the person that gave me this and had the cherry tree cut down didn't know how wood turners have their wood cut and just got the um, tree surgeon to cut it into slices. Jum, 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 jum. Don't you just hate it when you when they do that? So there is a pith running through the center of this wood, but I'm not really worried because this is more of a challenge for Miss Leona. Thank you very much, Leona Fay Wood Turning. Uh, Leona asked if I can um, turn a baseball cap, and that's what I'm going to do. The only problems that I can see um springing up are number one that we do have a pith running through the center of this and as we remove stuff it could start cracking if it does that we'll we'll deal with it number two is i've got to try and put a tenon on the top of where the top of the cap is going to be um, and then once i've done a rough shape on the outside we've got to flip it around and hollow out the cap and then to finish the top we're gonna to have to make some kind of jam chuck or press chuck or something like that i've got big bertha in here by the way so it's great to have big bertha so with big bertha we'll use big tools this is the crown multi-tool you can take the heads out and put it in and uh, you've got an extension handle and all that and it's a soft grip so it's very nice and this is a new thing i'm gonna do every one of my videos is gonna have a banana hippie noodle made this for me and that cute she knitted me a banana so uh, he's going to be up there as my lucky mascot. Right, let's do this. I'm scared. Rock and roll. I'm turning at around about 600 at the moment, uh, 650. And I've got to be really careful of that sharp bit sticking out. So I'm just going to reduce this down slowly so we can get a tenon on this. So we're just rough shaping at the moment. Not worried about fancy cuts and all that. Okay, so as you can see, that is starting to take shape. Top of the hat. I may have made a bit of a ding dong when I cut it because I've got that big flat bit at the front hmm but if that's what we've got that's what we've got I'll keep going nevertheless making a right mess of my workshop I tell you We are currently going at 900. Let's make this tenon a bit smaller and then uh, get it on. I'll use my parting tool. Right, I'm going to leave that top bit as it is for now, because like I say, I think I could carve that to make that look kind of cool. Um, probably not tonight, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to turn it round now. Oh, sh sugar. Da, 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 da. Honey, honey. <coughs> yeah. Wow, I've made a real mess of my workshop. I forgot how messy having the big lathe is. I've put the tail stock up for now because I want to take a bit of weight out of it, hollow it as much as I can. Uh, there you go. So that's what that's looking like so far. Right, here we go. Wish me luck. I'm going in. Oh, let's go this way. Just had a lump there that I had to get rid of before I could actually get my tool to start cutting properly. I might get my hollower out in a second because that can really eat the eat the wood. 
and because this is end grain it could be a bit of a monkey this is the crown hollower i think it's a eight mil carbide bit on the end and as you can see you can be a lot more aggressive with it let's get a bit more uh, no we're not going to get any more speed in that Yeah, so I'm, I'm slowly taking this bulk bit away at the moment. That's my next move is take this back edge away and then just bring this to a thinner curve at the front. But yeah, it's, it's getting there. No, it won't break. I've moved the hat now. That's it. It's all gone wrong. It's okay. I haven't moved it. I've just got to make sure that I'm super tight right let's do this really sketchy move that will be fun got it right okay here we go getting quite close to thickness just there I don't want to go too far in there now now we can be really scared Right, just another bit off of that, and we'll be happy. When you're using a scraper, for those of you that don't know, you do not want it overhanging your tool rest too far because it will bite you just little wispy wisps that's all i'm going for whoa see what i mean about the tool rest thing it might fit my head it might not just <laughs> say <saying. laughs> right i think it's time to get the saw on it I've got to do some drawing now. Sorry, I'm just doing a bit of shaping with my rasp here before I get the sandpaper to it. get a bit of sandpaper to it now we can take it off the chuck see does it fit on my head oh it's heavy no, it doesn't fit my head fit my kids there. Do you, want to, do you want to have a laugh? If you could squash it like a real cap, because it's round, it doesn't fit my egghead. Hold on. Do you want to laugh? You ready? Yeah. We're going to have to put something in the chuck to create a dinghy. Do I use this? Right, I'm just going to see if I can put this chunk of hubbada hubbada in here. I'll, I'll put this on a different camera so that you can say goodbye to it just in case it takes off, okay? Now, that's what it looks like before. 
it's good. Let's um, turn this little knob down. I'm not getting rid of the whole thing. I'm actually just putting like the little button on top. You know? Okay, here we go. Now it's slightly off centre, but I think, you know, it's got a wobble on it, but I think that'll add to the look of it, because the button won't be exactly in the top centre, if you know what I mean. you kind of be off a little bit, I think, anyway, have a look at it. Yeah. I'll take a little bit off the hat as well, I think, just to kind of blend it in, but... I think that's going to look cool. Cool! I always kind of look to the artistic side of pieces and I don't worry. I mean, unless it's like something that has to be spot on square, something like this. It just adds character. The more, you know, the little bumps and I'm not one for having something exactly right. I'm happy with that. I'm going to take that off and I'm going to sand it. This will make sense in a second. It's my it's my vision. I'm I'm kind of carving with a saw at the moment. You can do this kind of stuff with a saw and a file and some sandpaper. Now, let me show you what I'm, so I'm just carving it just to make it look like it's, now obviously it needs to be sanded and, but it will look like folds coming into the material. I think I'm okay with that. I'm going to rub some um there it is it's what americans call mineral oil but we call it baby oil over here bow chicken wow wow smells lovely now it still needs a little bit of sand in but that will give you an idea of what it looks like when it's got there you go i love cherry Hmm, it has that new baby smell. One cap. And do you know what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to finish it off this week. And then, um, just with a bit of sand in that. There's, I mean, it's finished. The the shape of it. See where the peak comes down. Um, yeah. I'm going to finish it, the sanding of it this week. And put a couple more coats of oil and stuff on it. And then next Tuesday, we'll give it away. How's that? And the person who wins it will get their logo put probably on the rear or along the front there. Right. That's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've learned nothing. It turned out okay. I'm glad it worked out. Number two, uh, turn it Tuesday. Successful. Awesome. See ya, Temple. Boom! Forking bananas. <laughs>